It's a plane, it's a bird. It's it's a- I was acting mad funny. This year you want all the cash money. I gotta go get the bag, homie. Talking, but they keeping tabs on me. I said, B.I.G., I'm a big, big deal. Crawling on the floor, she a Navy SEAL. I can't do the bubbly. What it do fairies and glads and welcome back to another video. I'm just going to be jumping right into this 10 minute install for beginners. Check out my previous ball cap video first if you guys haven't already and jump right back to this video for this glueless install. The wig I'm using in today's video is from Genius Wigs and I like never show the packaging from companies but this box was so cute. The wig I'm using is their 13 by 6 kinky curly wig with the kinky edges. It has crystal lace and it is a fitted wig cap. Y'all already know I am loving this curly baby hair era right now and this lace is super thin and blended seamlessly on my hairline for the final install. The knots do come pre-bleached and they are single knotted which means the knots are smaller and looks like it's literally growing out of your scalp. As far as his hair texture it is given pure Miss Stallion vibes. Meg the Stallion has been in her natural hair bag lately and I wanted to mimic a wig that looked just like her natural hair texture. And this curly pattern is spot on. The install I'm doing today is purely glueless, no spray, no gel, and no glue. And it's for the everyday beginner friendly, straight out the door in 10 minutes type of girl off. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting the lace around the hairline and getting as close to the ball cap as possible, just leaving a little bit of lace in front. Now, if you're a beginner beginner, this hairline does come pre-plucked and it's perfectly fine to leave it as is. But y'all know I'm just super extra and I like my hairlines to be a certain way. So I'm just doing a a little bit more plucking. This crystal lace is so seamless and invisible and this wig is truly ready to wear out of the box. There's really no extra work needed which makes it super beginner friendly and this insole is purely glueless so definitely stay tuned to see what product I use to hold this wig down. So y'all, I did this technique a few days ago off camera and I was obsessed. I'm taking this Design Essentials Foaming Wrap Lotion to install my wig today and the hold and the quickness of this install is about to blow y'all mind. I'm just taking some mousse and slapping it on this hairline, okay? Do not be shy with it. Just literally pile on the mousse on this hairline. And to melt it down, I'm using this melting band I got from Amazon. Of course, you can get six in a $6 pack and I recommend these in particular because they don't have that rigid mark on the band and it doesn't leave that pattern on the lace. So I'm gonna just let this sit the entire time I'm shaping and styling this curly hair because you want it to melt in on its own, no heat is necessary. So here's the informative part about this wig. You just want to keep in mind that a lot of wigs lately, as far as 13 by 6, they do not go all the way deep from ear to ear. They usually stop short on the sides, and that is the case in this case. So I basically just had to think quickly on my feet, and I just decided to style this hair in the Mac Stallion Curly Bayang. I took a section in the front and slid my scissors in a downward motion and started to sculpt and layer this hair. The way I shape curly hair is in a like pineapple method. You want to start at the top top and work your way down pulling the curls out just a little bit just so you can see the full length of the hair and then lightly sliding the scissors down creating some layers in depth in this hair. So y'all y'all can see yourself this hair texture on this wig is amazing okay it's 250 density which means it's extra full it's going to give y'all that perfect bouncy curl pattern definitely one of my favorites in the book of wigs. So this Mayel Brazilian Curl Cocktail Cream is the absolute trick for today. I mix it in with warm water in this huge spray bottle that I got from Sally Beauty. I just put a good amount in there and shook it up until it was all mixed together. After our concoction is all mixed up, I'm going to spray it on the hair and then use this dimming brush that I got from Amazon to start defining the curls. And then I just sealed it in with another mousse from Mayel and it's their curl mousse. And then I'm just gonna put that right over top and keep raking that dimming brush through until the mousse is nice and saturated in the hair. And y'all, look at this shine, this bounce, this definition. I kept doing that same method all the way through the hair and this only took me about five minutes to do.
As far as the bangs, I just kept applying product and cutting until it got to the curly bang length that I really wanted. That's something that's super key to point out about this wig and this hair because as I was cutting, the curls still stayed and jumped back and springy. A lot of times that is not the case once you cut it, but as far as it goes with this wig, that is not the case. These curls are bouncing back, okay? And then to get that big curly Meg look, I used a diffuser on low heat to diffuse the hair. I just took my time with this just to make sure that I didn't create frizz because I wanted that hair big but not frizzy. So it's time to show this hairline technique and just wait till y'all see this. To hold the bangs back first, I'm just gonna use these clips I got from Amazon. They just don't separate the curls when holding back the hair. And y'all, look at this hairline melt. Like this is my hair, okay? Not even the melt. Look at this tug, look at the hold. And this is all just from using mousse. So y'all go out and get this because it's lit. This lace tint mousse is no stranger to my channel. It's been the gold star with making my wig hairlines just match my skin exactly and avoids that white cast look that a lot of people with color tend to get as far as darker complexions. So I just put a little bit of that mousse on the hairline and spread it out using my finger and just wiped up the excess with a paper towel. Then I'm just going to blow dry it dry and that hold is still there as you guys can see. And I'm just showing a comparison of the lace tint side versus the no lace tint side. I'm just gonna finish off blending this lace further with this lace wig powder. Of course, from Amazon yet again. Everything will be linked down in the description box down below. And I'm just gonna put this in the front of my lace to blend it more with my skin and also putting it in the parting space. Then I'm gonna take a pick to fluff the hair out even further. We want that Miss Stallion look, so the bigger, the better. And that pretty much concludes today's video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, thank you to Genius Wigs for sponsoring this video. This wig is absolutely amazing. No stiff curls over here. And as always, love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And bye, fairies. Gives no f I need my books, I thought I told them that I, They ain't helping, but they acting like I owe them that Twisting